Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy O. And I'm coming to you from Chicago, baby. Chicago, Chicago. Yeah, I came over here to get my truck service. I'm in this little break room. I'm on my, on my phone. And I'm going to tell you some of the, um, I would say, um, to me, the best school to go to to get your CDA license. But for me personally, I went to the state to get my CDA license. Um, before I got into um, driving trucks, I was doing a lot of illegal stuff. Um, and with that, um, I caught a felony charge. Um, I was able to turn my felony charge by hiring a lawyer in, into um, a misdemeanor with a year probation and um, drug tests and all them different stuff. And after a year, I was able to expunge it. So as soon as I got that felony charge, I decided um, I was going to stop what I was doing, which was some illegal stuff. And the, the legal stuff that I was doing was fixing cars and motorcycle and working at Target. Now, um, <laughs> I decided I was tired of working at Target and um, I was tired of fixing cars. It was to make, I made more money fixing cars than the side that I made working for the company 77. So with that being said, um, I decided that uh, I was gonna start driving trucks cause I was thinking about it for about, um, I wanna say, three, three years prior to this situation. But you know when you're doing illegal stuff, you get caught up in the world of illegal, illegal, illegal. So after getting the charge, I decided I was gonna go to the state and take the state test and everything because the North School wasn't gonna pick me up because it's hard to find someone that's gonna hire you. So I went to the state, did the test, passed. After passing, I found me a, a, um, a private tester and I paid him $2,000. And with the $2,000 that I paid him, I went on the road with him about two, three times. He taught me how to float gears, starting off, no shifting. And then from there, he, um, he turned around and um, did the little um, test that was needed, the backing test and all that, and gave him my license. After getting my license, I then went to, um, after getting my license, I then went to, um, what the word was, I then went around searching for jobs that was going to hire me um, with a misdemeanor because I've already got sentenced now and I'm doing my probation period so I could get the expunged. So I was looking for companies to get my misdemeanor off and all that different stuff. So with that being said, um, I got on with SRT. I was running with SRT. And I did them for four months. By this time, I had four or five months left on my, on my expungement. You know what I mean? So by the time the four months was up, my expungement had already been processed and went through. So once it went through, I then left SRT and went with Conway, or oh, you know it now as CFI. They were doing a better deal. I did um, also about a couple months with CFI, and then I went around and bought a truck to the owner app. Probably the worst decision I ever made at the time, because I was a rookie, just trying to jump straight into the big bucks. I'll talk about that in the next video. I'm doing owner app. Um, anyways, but yeah, that's basically how I got my CDL, but one of the best places you could go to get your CDL that's going to pay for it for you, have you get the classes that you need so that you could be able to pass the, the written test and give you the training and the back end you need to, to, do, to pass the, um, the driving test and to do it at the site is Roadrunner. Uh, I'm saying that right now to keep on and if you can go to the um the school roadrunner 
if you go to the school road runner, then I want to say it's about four thousand dollars for the for the whole course, but it takes like three weeks, and in three weeks you get your CDL. So once you you're dedicated to it and you really want to do that, then you could get your CDL in three weeks. After the third week and you graduate, they're then gonna help you get on to various arm um, contractors like Warner, Pam, Swift, Knight. And that's just some of the few stuff, you know what I mean? And I probably um make a video on some of the companies that I've worked for and some of the companies that are good for for rookies. Um again this is your boy O. Like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification button for, for new videos. Be safe on the road. I'll see you again.